Welcome to our YouTube channel exclamation mark backslash and today, we're discussing a very unique story about a museum that's been in operation since 1847. This museum, located in Wisbeach, North Cambridgeshire, is called the Wisbeach and Fenland Museum. It's one of Britain's oldest purpose-made museums, and it's recently been through a major renovation to update the facility and make it even better. Backslash and unfortunately, there's a problem. Despite the renovation and updates, the museum is lacking the money to cover its daily running costs and will be charging an admission fee of £5 starting on May 1st. This is the first time in a century that the museum has had to charge an admission fee and museum chairman Steve McGregor is not happy about it. Backslash and he stated, it was a decision taken with huge reluctance. We really didn't want it to come to this, but we have to do something to make up the shortfall in our funding. He went on to explain that the museum lost its annual grant from the Fenland District Council five years ago and has since been relying on funding from Wisbeach Town Council and donations from supporters, but it's not enough. Backslash N. McGregor is urging local businesses to sign up to its new patron scheme and pledging a yearly sum of either £1,200 or £600 and asking individuals to donate a monthly sum in order to keep the museum alive and running. He understands that Wisbeach is a deprived area and because of that, He's kept the admission fee low. Backslash and the museum has a variety of treasures and other attractions to be seen, including a recent Charles Dickens exhibition that featured his original Great Expectations manuscript. The museum also has artifacts from Louis XIV's chess set, a breakfast service seized from Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo, and more. It's important to Steve that people from all walks of life get to experience the wonders of the Wisbeach and Fenland Museum and all of the interesting artifacts, but not everyone can afford to pay an admission fee. Backslash and so, we're wondering what can be done to ensure that the Wisbeach and Fenland Museum remains open and can continue to show its amazing artifacts. Please comment below with your ideas and if you have small business that you would like to donate to the museum's cause be sure to reach out to the museum. In Richardson, this is, Name, reporting for your YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.